This is a video on MRI safety of medical devices and medical implants. This information is based on the 2009 FDA labeling system, where something that is designated as MRI safe poses no harm in all MRI environments. MRI conditional means it's safe under defined MRI environments. If the model number or name is known, you should look it up at mrisafety.com or on the manufacturer's website. And if something is designated as MRI unsafe, it's not safe in any MRI environments. Let's walk through this table quickly and read about the devices and implants as well as the safety comments for each of them. The first device is arterial stents, coils, and clips. These are safe after eight to six weeks when they become embedded in the arteries. They're bare metal stents that are considered MRI safe immediately after placement. Next device is breast implants and tissue expanders. Most of these are rated as MRI safe. Some do have a metallic component or magnetic injection site guides and safety should be verified prior to imaging. So look those up. Next is bullets, shrapnel, and metallic fragments. These are always unsafe. MRI is contraindicated if the object is near a vital structure like your eyes, your heart, and your arteries. Prior radiographic evidence should be reviewed to assess the location, and if you don't have that imaging available, you should do a standard x-ray or computed tomography, a CT scan, to assess the location. Next is cardiac valves. These are rated as MRI safe or conditional. You should look them up. Next are pacemakers, implantable cardioverter defibrillators, collectively known as cardiovascular implantable electronic devices, or CIEDs. These should be kind of reviewed online like the rest. You should involve a cardiologist before, during, and after the MRI. If it's an older device, something from the 90s, 80s, or earlier, uh, you should definitely uh, look into it because it's likely to be MRI unsafe. Uh, most of them, however, are conditional and you need to look them up on the website. Next, cerebrospinal fluid shunts. These are typically MRI safe or conditional. Again, you gotta look them up. Cochlear implants. For these, the battery should be removed and the implant should be wrapped. Um, that should happen before the MRI um, actually happens. Next is contraceptive devices. Most of these are MRI safe or conditional. There are some materials like copper and steel that are commonly used in China that can cause artifacts. Um, intrauterine devices have no adverse effects. Um, subdermal implants are also considered MRI safe. There's no metal in those. Next is dental implants, which are generally safe. If they're detachable, you should remove them. If they're permanent, and um, they can be ferromagnetic if they're permanent, they don't pose any harm because they're securely fixed to the bone or to the surrounding teeth, so they should not move. Next is drug infusion pumps and drug uh, patches. These should be removed because of the risk of malfunction and thermal injury. IVC filters. If an MRI is required, it should be performed at least eight weeks after the placement of IVC filters. This allows for the filter to embed fully within the IVC. Next is intracranial aneurysm clips. You should identify these clips and you should ensure it is in a safe location um, and avoid using MRI if possible. Jewelry should always be removed. It's always unsafe and it should be easy to remove it. If you have like a piercing or something that is keeping a piercing open, like a jewelry, like a stud, that you don't want your piercing closed during the hour or so that you're in the MRI suite, you can usually get like a little plastic replacement to ensure that your piercing doesn't start to close. Neurostimulators are next. These are rated as MRI conditional or unsafe, so definitely look into them. Um, a lot of the times they are unsafe. Orthopedic implants, most of these are conditional and some are safe. They do have titanium in them, which is not ferromagnetic. However, oftentimes when they have like plates or screws, um, they use things that are ferromagnetic, but they usually don't pose a hazard because they are secured to the bone, kind of like the dental implants. However, these can cause an imaging artifact, so they might appear on the MRI and they might um, kind of get in the way of the image. Penile prostheses is next. This is rated as MRI safe or conditional, except for these, the duraphase and the omniphase. These are considered unsafe because of risk of displacement or torque injury. So definitely look into the penile prostheses, and if you have one of these, these would be considered unsafe, duraphase and omniphase. Next, permanent makeup and tattoos. These typically do not cause problems with MRI. There are some weird imaging artifacts that you can get from ferromagnetic ink. And another thing to note is that if you have a dark or curved pattern, this can actually cause minor burning. If it's a curved pattern that goes around a limb, for instance, that can cause burning in the skin. Usually the burning is pretty mild and you can just treat it with cold compresses.
Next, surgical skin staples. After six to eight weeks, granulomas form around these staples and the MRI can be performed. So nothing to worry about if they're old surgical skin staples. Urinary catheters are usually composed of plastic and they are MRI safe. And lastly, vascular ports and intravenous catheters are usually safe or conditional. You might wanna look them up just to be sure. I hope this review of MRI safety was helpful and thank you for listening.